Okay, my brothers, I got another one here for you. I got another lovely lady who's going, who should make you go get a passport. Let's check her out, and I'll be right back. This waste of space and ask me, what can you do to prove you're worthy of a response for me? And wait in agony and anticipation until I feel like it. So check out this one, my brothers. She's sitting there saying that you have to prove to her that you're worthy. And she'll get back to you when she feels like it. Hold on, my brothers. I have more to show you of her. Build the table. I brought my body to lay on the table for you to munch at your pleasure so you could shut up. Like, what do you mean? I hate that men work under the assumption that every woman wants to be in a relationship and I'm doing everything for a relationship. Like, no, I'm here for a good time. As soon as you stop providing that good time, I'm gone. I really didn't even want to be here. I'm just kind of bored. You know what? You work on building that table. I'm going to go vibe out. Funny. She has the nerve to be talking about relationships. She's she's the type of woman that you don't want to be in a relationship with. She's more of a smash and dash. Hit it and quit it and run away. And as far as building the table, nobody wants to build a table for her. Why would anybody want to? It would be a waste of time. All right, my brothers, I, I have more to show you of this lovely lady. But before I do, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe, share and like. And if you want to support my channel, I will put a buy me a coffee link in the description. All right, let's get back to this lovely lady. I'm not planning on getting knocked off around your nap time. Like, what do you mean? Wait till these kids go to bed. I'm going to rock your world. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. Like, I, I, like are, you, are you telling me we're not raising independent three and five year old kids where they can't take care of themselves for two and a half hours unsupervised? Yes, I'm counting foreplay and my nap after. Like, what do you mean? And now any little minuscule, minor, unequivocal, small thing that happens in life. Now I'm pissed because now I'm tired from looking after them damn kids. And then I ain't even got my, my socks knocked. My rocks knocked. My boots kicked. Whatever, whatever the term is, like... Bro, I could stub my toe and now it's broken. I'm going to the hospital. I'm dying. I could be a little bit hungry. Oh, now I'm a monster. I need a Snickers. No, I'm not doing that. Y'all got it. Y'all can keep the get up. All right, my brothers. There you have it. This, this, this lovely lady. How would you like to date somebody like this? How would you like to marry somebody like this? How would you like to try to start a family with somebody like this? I don't think you can do it. But... All the pro-black people out there tell us that we're cowards for going overseas and we can't handle a strong, independent black woman and yada, 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 yada. Listen, brothers, it's up to you. You can stay home and face women like this or you can go get that passport and deal with better women. Women who you can have a family with. Women who's not sitting behind some dashboard in a car complaining about having kids it's up to you brothers you do you closer to me with his bare hands he got me a nike jacket it's cute my favorite color, a close second even. Nike, you have 24 hours to respond. Was this the best you could do or should I break up with him?